Hello Guardians, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. I've had this idea for a while now before I went on holiday, but I decided that what if I just did a video where we go over the past four seasons of content? And now obviously I'm not going to go over every single detail, like season the hunt, I'm just going to do one thing. But maybe when I get to other seasons I might do more things, so without further ado, let's go. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find this little yoke, which I genuinely have not touched in ages. I have not used the lore in so long. Uh, so we're just going to slot in the Hive Celebrant because honestly, th that's like the longest hunt. So maybe I'll give more commentary on this like as I'm going in. Now, the lore. What a weird invention. Wait, it wasn't here, was it? It was here. The Coupe de Gras. I still haven't got that ship actually now that I think about it. How lucky would it be if I got the ship during this? Like, I just love using the sword so much. I can't help myself, man. It's just such a nice sword. So, Season of Hunt was interesting, right? And, like, this was the finale. This was a good finale, if I can remember correctly, because it was an actual mission rather than a hunt. Yeah, man, I, I, I wonder if it's going to bug out. Because I remember, like, there used to be a thing that spawns here, and, like, it just bug out half the time. I think... Oh, actually, isn't it up here? Oh, no, no, mind. It's just right here. It's going to move, though. Oh, wait, maybe I need to wait for something to spawn, don't I? But I think I'm doing a good bit of damage already. Nah, never mind, I'm not. You know, I'm not gonna lie, picking a sword was not the best option. Yeah, they're not killing me. So let, let's see, this is the moment of truth now. Let's see if it actually teleports me. Let's go. To be fair, they probably patched it like ages ago. I was just memeing on it, you know? But yeah, having this like effect, I thought that was actually kind of cool. Like being able to track down enemies that way. Shut and die. That's a fun fact for you. Mm, nah, I'm good. I think the worst part for uh, hunts for a lot of people is that it was easy, but honestly, I don't mind like having an easy activity once in a while. Oh my god, you dickhead! Why were you in the way? I hate that so much, man. Oh, yeah, I don't even have to wait. Let's just go. Why am I contacting Destiny 2 servers now of all times, man, when I'm in the middle of a recording? What? Oh, I. Wait, I could have saved myself! Wait, wait. Nah, never mind. I was just seeing through the concrete. I say concrete, but it's natural uh, rock gel, like... Wait, what is this? No, th why is it pointing me the wrong way? Bam, this way. Yeah, honestly, overall, it was just... Uh, honestly, if you haven't seen um, uh, Season of Hunt and all its cutscenes and whatnot in the story, then you probably shouldn't listen to what I'm about to say next, kind of spoilers, but I I'm glad, like, at the end, we actually got the free crow. Yeah, go on, shield up, will you? Shield up knowing that I can burst your bubble quite literally. Man, why did I use all the ammo on my sword? Now I'm just sad that I can't speed across this. Like, do we already do that much damage to him? Man, that's ridiculous. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm actually going to die if I don't drop down now. Give me a sec to heal. Weird to think. Literally, like, next month this is all going away. Lol, teabag. <laughs> this is just cheesing. Like... Don't worry, Crow, we're after you, bud. You're a main figurehead in the next, like, probably big expansion, I could imagine. Uh oh. <laughs> no! Please! I'm not dead yet! Let me just uh, heal up. I think I had no health there. See, this is why I love this sword so much. It's so good. Hello. Oh, no. Uh, uh. Wait, if I just flow, if I flow, if I flow. I'm trying to speed run this now, bro. Right, this time, let's go through this without the sword. I've noticed I've died a lot because of the sword. Right, we're finally back here, where I'm meant to be. Where's, oh, there you are. Bro, you just had a little bit more to damage, man. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Wait, why is he? Die! This is going to take a while, I think it bugged out. There we go. So yeah, that's the first thing. That's probably the only thing I'm going to play from Season of the Hunt, because that's the only thing worth mentioning. Obviously, there's the Hawkmoon mission as well, but I can't be bothered going through that by myself, because it's actually difficult by myself. So let's move on now to the next season, which was Season of the Chosen. Right, so as I said, uh, last season was Season of the Hunt. Now we're going into Season of the Chosen. And the best place to go in for that, I think, should be here. Uh, yep, there it is, Battlegrounds. Now, I had a bit of a thought about it, and I thought to myself, you know what, let's just do, like, literally just one battleground and leave it there, and then I'll give some of my opinions on various different stuff and whatnot. Fun fact, this season is what introduced me to the Extraordinary Rendition. 
probably the best submachine gun I've used in a while since Recluse got sunset. Which I probably didn't mention in the last one, but like, you know, obviously during Beyond Light everything got sunset and that's why Season of the Hunt was uh, received worse than it probably should have been. It, it probably would have been just an alright season if we still had everything and there was no vaulting of the content and sunsetting of the content. Oh yeah, this is the start, isn't it? Ow. It was actually cool as well, right? The fact that we actually got a, um... We actually got something to do with the Cosmodrome in this season. I thought they were just going to add the Cosmodrome and it was going to be like a year before they were going to use the Cosmodrome for anything else but just to bring it in. And you have to remember as well, this season introduced like the uh, Hammer Charge stuff, which was okay to a certain degree, but it wasn't the best in the world. Obviously the um, Umbro system is kind of superior. I think there's another more superior system, but I just can't remember it off the top of my head. But there's also the fact that in this season we got like, I think three strikes total? We got two returning strikes from Destiny 1. Or should I just say remastered at this point? We got Devil's Lair and the uh, Warmind strike. I can't remember what they call it. And we also got a new strike which was basically uh, a long version of a um, Battleground. Which honestly I'm all for, I don't mind that. Like changing the um, Battleground formula into thing. I probably shouldn't have picked up your man's orb. I feel kind of bad now for doing that. Like, with the addition of the new strike, we actually got, like, a new area on Nessus, like. So, like, we got the Cosmodrome last season, then we got, like, in the next season after that, we got literally a brand new section to Nessus. And, like, it's, it's going to stay in the game as well, even when it goes. Like, all this, um, Battleground stuff, so there's not really a point in me coming back to this, because I know I can already play it any time I want for now. But, you know, I might as well, um, I might as well play this trail. I don't know. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> when it comes to this like video, I'm, I'm recapping everything anyway, so I might as well throw in the battleground stuff. Yeah, as well as that, I just remembered during this season we also got Versage, the um, haunted like ghost ship that's at the Mars Anomaly, which unfortunately is going. And they got Dead Man's, or we got Dead Man's Tale from that as well, which came with random rolls as well as Hawkman, which I forgot to mention in the last segment of the video, which is so cool. Like I actually like soloed that myself. I actually forgot Lord Saladin was even in this season. He's kind of just like, there, you know? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, pfft. Bro, I don't know why I stood still. But yeah, during the Witch Queen, by the way, like, as all this stuff is staying, it's actually going to be combined with strikes. So, yeah, j just remember, like, if you're going to load into a strike that, um... When you load into a strike next season, they're going to be called, I think, Vanguard Operations. And you're going to get a mixture of strikes and battlegrounds, which is kind of cool. It'd be cool if they add, like, more battlegrounds in the future, honestly. I think that'd be really cool. Even if it's, like, a story, uh, a way in the story to try and start writing out, like, the Red uh, Legion. Because the Red Legion are kind of still about and doing stuff, but they're not really doing much. Like, they should just dissolve the Red Legion and make a new, like, faction of enemies, like, that are just under the, uh, Scions. I think they're called the Conclave or something like that. Still, I'd love to see something like that. It doesn't matter anyway, I wasn't meant to use this camera much anyway. It was mainly for my uh, VTuber model for streaming. Which, by the way, my streaming is at uh, Joseph Flair on Twitch. All one word. Oh, that's too fast. <laughs> Oof, I'm getting emoted. Should really save my sword. I say it as I continue to use my sword. Damn, man, I can't wait for Witch Queen to come out. Because I haven't really been playing Destiny, like, as much. Like, ever since Season of the Lost started, like... I don't know what it is. I think it's just because I've already been leveled up and stuff. So I didn't really bother much, you know? Yo. Oh, what? Oh, okay, I guess the Scion's dead. Right, anyway. Let's move on to the next season. Season of the Splicer. So, let's just say it's Splicing time. Uh, we'll do this just because, like, again, it's faster to get through it, and I can talk about little bits before thing. So, yeah. When you first stole into this realm, I did not believe you could achieve... So, yeah, Seasonal Splicer added a good few things. I never actually even mentioned the Seasonal Exotics, but, yeah, here they are on screen. I genuinely can't remember much from them, except one gun was lit... I called it the Freezy Freezy gun. But, you know, it was so cool. Like, if you look at the top left... You'll actually see, like, a conversation that Sabathun's trying to have with you whilst you're doing this mission on, uh, Corrupted. I remember, like, when I first came into it, I was like, wait, did I just discover something cool? What? Beware those barriers. They will destroy all matter they touch. What? What? <laughs> 
Um, man, why are they in the way? Just let me fly. I guess I should have lowered myself first, then swan. You know, now that I think about it, I should have faced Coria for this one, but whatever, man. It is how it is, like... Joe, throw grenades! You're not throwing enough grenades! Oh, I put the confetti- about. I was wondering what the, the firefly effect was. There was just confetti coming out of them. I was like, what? Bang. And now let's just do the final blows. Well, I say that as I... Get out of me face, bro. Can we get rid of this? Uh, I don't really want these anymore. Right, with the Seas of the Splicer segment over, now let's move on to the final segment, which will obviously be Season of the Lost. So I have two options here. I do Shattered Throne. Yeah, actually, I'm going to just do Shattered Throne. This season was okay, but I don't know why. I just got real bored real easy. I think I just burnt out on the game or something. Which is, again, what what's led me to have, like, probably the least amount of gameplay for a single season. Like, I literally didn't touch Gambit till, like, I think a few weeks ago. Like, that, <laughs> that that's how much I didn't play this season, that I haven't played Gambit. But to be fair, like, there's not really much reason to play Gambit when they don't really, like, care for the mode, you know? I think they said, though, in a Tawab recently that they'd look at Gambit again. And, like, they talk about its current situation and what they're going to do. Oh, yeah, and by the way, this is one of the weapons from this season as well. I was actually, like... So excited to see that they finally added a stasis trace rifle, man. I think, like, my reaction video should still have me being like, Oh, yeah, it's a stasis trace rifle or something like that. I, I can't remember. It's been so long. New exotic quests. Is it another? Oh, it's a, oh, it's a stasis trace rifle! And maybe that's another reason I feel so burnt out in Destiny that I haven't come back to it, is the fact that this is a six-month season, but I also saw it as, like, it's kind of break as well. I kind of want to start using my thing again, but I can't. I just want to keep freezing stuff. Oh, never mind. I have no choice. This season was really good with lore as well. And, like, when you think about it as well, the Dawning and Tang uh, Festival of the Lost during this season were really good. Especially Festival of the Lost, where we got the um, lo uh, haunted sectors, not lost sectors. Those were actually genuinely fun. I hope next time around they add at least another one or two onto it. So it keeps it up, you know, and it keeps giving, like, old content a reason to be revamped, you know? Mm, nah, I, I, I don't trust my sword and the uh, <laughs> Ascendant plane anymore. Oh yeah, and as I'm recording this as well, I just remembered, we're not even done with everything in this season. Uh, spoiler alert, by the way, just in case it, it might be a spoiler. But obviously something's gonna happen with Sabathun and her worm, and we need to, like, I think extract it from her. Which kicks off the events then for uh, next season and expansion. So, like, there's still that that needs to be done. And right now, it's the 19th of January. So, it's basically a whole month now we have until, like, this Sabathun extraction worm thing. A thing I forgot to mention during Season of the Splicer as well is the fact that we got, like, the Vault of Glass back. Which is still so weird to think about. I actually forgot that raid was even in this game, like... When have I not done something stupid during this recording, honestly? It always involves the sword. I wonder why. I love as well, this gives a reason for, like, new Tekkens to come in. And I love how it's all explained. It's like, you're saving these Tekkens each week. So that it builds up to, like, the, um, uh, end of the season event. You freeze me, I freeze you. You may be on the other side of the map, but I have the ability to fly to this side of the map. Sorry, you're going down. Sorry, that's just the way the universe was built. It was built in favor of the Guardians. But yeah, before we uh, end the video, I think we should just go give uh, Zabathun a little visit. I'm glad that, like, I'm glad that the seasonal stuff talks about other characters rather than just our character, you know? Like, our character is involved, but not really the main character. And obviously, I must say, like, these seasons this year have been a big, big step up since the other seasons. Hey, Mara, How you doing? But yeah, this one talk about the Sabathun thing, where, like, maybe they'll bring the crystal into here, and Mara will just stand right here, then something will happen. Well, anyway, thank you so much, Guardians, for watching this video. If you liked it, obviously like it, dislike if you didn't like it, comment if you want to subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. And I hope to see you in the next Destiny 2 video.